Yes, another boss. We love exploring bosses. But is it the unmarked location? Uh, no. Well, there is something. Just a pack of cigarettes. A teddy bear with the dirty postman hat driving. This is brilliant. This is exactly why I play Fallout 4 for sites like this. Now, let's go to the back of the bus. You can find a few raiders and their mongrels sitting chilling. They've set up camp here. I mean... It's a pretty good location, given the fact that the bridge is somewhat raised and you do have a bit of protection here and there, especially behind the bus. It's just north of Egret Tours Marine and south of the Coast Guard Pier. And, uh, yeah, they seem to be chilling out, playing with a wee teddy bear, but nothing beats the teddy sitting. That is why I love buses in Fallout 4. You can make all the comments you want about what we find in some of them. Some of them are pretty boring, but to me, they all have a unique story to tell. And I'm glad how utilised they were throughout the Unmarked Location series and uh, in the city in general. Um, I'm pretty sure it will be scary to tally how many buses we've come across. Um, because I make sure to include bus in the title, so if I ever come back, I can do the numbers. That'll be awesome to see. Anyways, we're moving on to our next unmarked location, which either, if you're watching chronologically, will be the locomotive, or the locomotive was the one previous. I haven't done the numbers in this one yet. Anyways, uh, the recommendations will be on screen. Hope you check out more content. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.